Welcome to our Google AdWords tutorial. In our seventh video, we'll show you how to edit your AdWords campaign level settings. Now let's talk about editing campaign level settings. We'll start with an example. Here I'm at the highest level in the Google AdWords account. If I click on Campaign Management, I'm at the highest level summary of the campaign, and here are the advertising campaigns listed. If I check Antique Tables, and choose Edit Settings, you can see all the settings for the campaign. First, you can choose to change the campaign name from Antique Tables to something else if you wish. And here it gives you the date on which you started the campaign. You can choose to set a specific end date if you like, or you can choose to leave it as it is, set for more than three years into the future. So that should be fine for now. Next, you can choose to change your budget options if you wish. Of course, the higher your daily budget, the more potential there is for advertisements to be seen and the more money you'll spend. It's recommended when you're starting a new campaign to set the budget fairly low so nothing too drastic can go wrong. But of course, if you set it too low, it takes a very long time to get meaningful feedback about how effective your ads are, whether you've chosen the right keywords and so forth. So putting in a meaningful value here can help move the whole process along so you have a money-making advertising campaign. But again, if you start off with your budget set too high, you can begin losing money pretty quickly, so you need to find the right balance. Once your campaigns are working, it's recommended that unless you specifically want to cap how much your business grows, you set it to $100, $200, $500, $1,000 a day, whatever you feel is appropriate, so you're getting the maximum ad views and click-throughs to grow your business. Obviously, you only want to put your budget that high once your advertising campaign has proven that it will work and has proven that it will be profitable for you. Now let's look at delivery method. When you set a daily budget, you can choose standard delivery or accelerated delivery. Standard delivery shows your ads evenly throughout the day, in theory at least, and accelerated delivery as quickly as possible at the start of the day. Generally, I would say that standard delivery makes the most sense, but you may disagree depending upon your personal circumstances. Now to the advanced options, starting with keyword bidding. Default bidding is maximum cost per click. If we view and edit bidding options, click OK, we're taken to a bidding strategy page. And the two options are set maximum limits or use the budget optimizer. Budget optimizer basically means that Google makes the decisions for you. I recommend against that and instead recommend that you set your own maximum limits because if you're going to be spending money on advertising, it's very beneficial that you control it and understand what's going on. Let's cancel and go back to the campaign settings. And further down, we find ad scheduling. By default, ads run at all times, but we can turn on ad scheduling and click OK. And here you can choose when you want your ads to appear. Now before you do anything else, you need to be aware which time zone this is set in. Across the bottom, you see that the time zone for all dates and times in the data tables, reports, and billings is Greenwich Mean Time, London Time. However, it may be different depending on where you live, so be aware of that. Okay, for example, to schedule our ads, let's click on Saturday, Edit, and let's say we want to pause on Saturday. We don't want our ads to show on Saturday for whatever reason, and you can see that's done. Let's do the same for Sunday. 
Okay, Saturday and Sunday are now paused and off limits for our advertisements. Now let's pick Friday and say we want our ads to run from, scroll down, and let's say 9 to 5. This is obviously a decision you have to make for yourself, whatever you feel is best for your business, but you can see the functionality here. Note that you can add multiple time periods too. So we can add, for example, 9 a.m. to midday. And when people are back from lunch, pick it up at 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. Add that, and there you go. You can see the periods when your ad will be available on the system. As you can see, there's a lot of flexibility here. Okay, I've saved those changes, and now we're back at the Campaign Settings editing page. And on Ad Scheduling, you can see it now says Run at Select Times Only, running 62% of the week. Next is Position Preference. Enable Position Preferences. By holding the mouse here, it gives more information on this feature. This is a more advanced feature that allows you, rather than bidding based on cost per click and trying to get the highest click-through rate possible, you can actually specify where your ad appears. Really, doing things this way stops you from trying to optimize your ads with the cost per click, so you can actually wind up spending quite a bit more this way. Personally, I would advise against this, but you might want to try it out just to see how it works. Next is ad serving, which is quite important. If you have more than one ad per ad group, you can choose how they're shown. I recommend rotate, show ads more evenly. For example, in the ad group I've set up, Antique Table, if I have two ads, they're essentially competing against each other, and after a few days, the one with the highest click-through rate I keep because it's the most optimized ad. It's proven to be the most effective. That testing one ad against another is known as a split test. You're split testing ads against each other to see which one works best because you can't always predict the way the market is going to react. It's recommended that you rotate them evenly because that works better for split testing. But again, you always have the option of optimizing, which shows the better performing ads more often. Let's click on Rotate for now. Of course, this is really irrelevant at this point for our campaign because I only have one ad in my ad group, so I don't have anything to rotate. But nonetheless, it's important to be aware of this option. Now, looking here on the right, where do you want to show your ads? First, let's opt out of the content network. You can read the details here before proceeding, but I still want to opt out, and I'll click OK. I'll specify why in just a moment. Show my ads on Google Search, Search Network. Some people recommend that when you're just getting started with a new campaign, when you're just getting it up and running and don't want to dive into it too much, you turn everything off except Google Search. If you try to turn that off too, the system won't let you because you need to have at least one network active. Anyway, if you keep Google Search, your ads will run on the main Google network, such as Google.com, Google.com UK, Google Mail, Google Groups, and so forth. Once your campaign is proven, you can add Search Network, those main partner sites, if you choose. Remember that Content Network is all the hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of other sites that are permitted to display Google Ads. They're less trafficked because of their sheer numbers. You can reach a massive audience, but it can be less targeted than these audiences, so you'll perhaps want to test the Content Network to see how targeted it is for your needs. Importantly, your numbers can get a bit jumbled if you put everything into one campaign. I recommend that you include Google Search and potentially the Search Network running together in one campaign, then set up an identical campaign 
and just run the content network without Google Search and Search Network for that campaign so you can see your results clearly. Again, that's a separate campaign for Google Search and potentially the Search Network and an identical campaign for the Content Network alone if you want to try that option. That way your statistics show up separately and it's much easier to read and get meaningful results. I've made the mistake of putting everything into one campaign in the past and the numbers are difficult to make sense of. It's difficult to optimize your business when you have all the numbers jumbled together in one campaign. Let's scroll down. Are we going to change the target language? No. Note that if you want to choose multiple target languages, you can hold down the control key on your computer and click, but I don't want Chinese, I just want English in this instance. And you can also edit locations if you wish, but I'm just going to stick with the United Kingdom and the United States and save those changes. So those are the things you need to be aware of when setting up and editing campaigns and some suggestions for things you need to be aware of to optimize your Google AdWords campaign.